My name is Abigail Hatcher, and I'll be presenting on a trial that aimed to reduce intimate partner violence around the time of pregnancy in Johannesburg, South Africa. So intimate partner violence is a extreme version of enacted structural sexism and inequitable gender norms. It impacts about one of three women globally and around the time of pregnancy has dire outcomes both for a woman who might be exposed to IPV or for her fetus or infant. There is an emerging evidence base that IPV in pregnancy causes health outcomes that are bad for maternal and child health, but there is much more limited evidence around how to address this, particularly within the health sector. And so in our randomized control trial, we identified uh, normal nurses who had no prior training with intimate partner violence or uh, addressing gender inequitable norms in patients. But we trained these nurses to intervene in a very brief 30 to 45 minute one session intervention. So the single session was called Safe and Sound, and it comprised psychoeducation and empathetic listening by the nurse, as well as safety planning to help a woman identify strategies that she could take on board to stay safer um, alone or with her children in episodes of violence. The single session also included warm referrals to nearby organizations um, and shelters in case the woman needed additional support outside of the antenatal clinic. We randomized women um, at an individual level either to receive this safe and sound intervention or to an enhanced standard of care in which they would receive a small um, list of local referrals that was tucked inside of a tissue packet just to ensure that they could take those home in a way that would be safe and um, not be noticed by a violent partner. The trial measures of interest were exposure to intimate partner violence after the randomization to either the treatment or enhanced standard of care arm. And this was assessed through a comprehensive measure called the World Health Organization Multi-Country Study Instrument. We assessed probable depression using the hospital anxiety and depression screener, which is a brief measure that indicates um, clinically relevant symptoms of depression. We had secondary outcomes of interest around women's safety behaviors, their use of community resources, and their um, self-reported self-efficacy. The women participating in the trial were all exposed to past year intimate partner violence um, when they first entered antenatal care. And that ended up being just over a quarter of those women who were screened. The sociodemographics of trial participants were that two thirds lived in a single room and one third were food insecure at baseline. Less than half of those women enrolled into the trial had high school education, even though all women enrolled in the trial were adults. The intervention was successful at lowering self-reported exposure to physical and sexual IPV specifically being randomized to the intervention condition meant that women had 48% lower odds of new episodes of partner violence. There was also a significant finding in terms of recovery from probable depression. Those women randomized to the safe and sound intervention were twice as likely to recover from probable depression, um, again, as measured by a brief screener. So this brief intervention does hold promise, but the next stage would be to take it from an efficacy trial into more of an effectiveness implementation science approach.